Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Andrea here from Andrea Speaks TV. This is an audio only uh, video upload, so you'll be able to hear my voice, but you won't be able to see me. Listen, y'all, uh, I just want to come on really quickly. You all know, first of all, I want to say happy Sunday to you all. I hope you and your family are doing well. Listen, I want to once again highlight, uh, bring up um east palestine or east palestine ohio okay you all know right here on the channel brought you coverage about the train derailment that happened uh what has actually been seven months ago now down below in the comments okay i want you to listen to my video but then I, after uh my video ends after you finish watching it i want you to go in the comments and i want you to click a link and watch a video where some of the residents of East Palestine, Ohio have spoken out. And the question I wanna ask is, have the residents of East Palestine, Ohio been forgotten about? Now you may say, Andrea, why do you say that? You know, like I said, it's been seven months. It doesn't seem like it has been that long, but seven months ago, uh, East Palestine, Ohio, which is a small, from my understanding, a very small community, you know, there was a train derailment there. Um, chemicals were burned. Uh, people's water, soil, uh, homes, all of that home, you know, all of their homes were affected. There were even mandatory evacuations. People have had to leave their homes and many people have not returned. You know, um, uh, government of federal officials, uh, state officials came in uh, and, you know, uh, different groups offered aid. They even said that at the time, uh, after a certain time period that, you know, the water was safe to drink, it was safe for people to go back. But the residents of East of the East Palestine community, they just weren't really uh, hearing that and they didn't really believe that. Many of them ordered independent testing and maybe even some of the results were in direct conflict with what they had been told. So, you know, many of the residents in the video and you'll watch it. I don't want to spoil it, but many of them have, um, you know, just gotten to the point where. They feel like enough has not been done. And surprisingly, and you'll watch this in the video as well, President Biden, okay? President Biden has not set foot in East Palestine, Ohio, since this tragic uh, train derailment occurred. Uh, again, I want to ask the question, why have the people, have the people, so I want to ask the question, why have the, why, how do I want to ask this, y'all? Why does it seem like the people of East Palestine, Ohio, have been have been forgotten about? How is it that our country continues to send money overseas to aid others? OK, not saying that I don't believe I'm not saying that I don't believe that other countries and people should receive help. You know, there's a, a certain humanitarian duty. I feel like maybe all countries should take on and want to help others. But at the same time, as I have always said, you got to be willing to help your own. Um. So how is it that millions and billions of dollars are going out of the door, but yet you have people in the East Palestine community <clears throat> who are living in hotels. They've been living in a hotel for the past seven months, unable to return to their home there. Um, not only men, women, and children, but also, uh, you know, just the community, family members. Um, it's quite concerning. So I want you to watch this video and then I want you to comment your thoughts on the video. It was very shocking, very concerning, very alarming that seven months later, people are still um, seeking, in, in many cases, for those who did not have the resources and the means to help themselves, many people are still waiting on the government. Okay, now what can I take from this? There are many things, but what I want to point out for this particular video is, again, the need for us all to be prepared, to have several resources, to where you know um for example if you need to just up and leave for whatever reason you know even with this weather thinking about what just recently happened in florida um <clears throat> the recent uh wildfires in lahaina and hawaii you know it really made me think about wow like people really have to think about and be prepared for a moment's notice if you have to evacuate your home for whatever reason evacuate your community so you know that's why i say we need to be pre prepared in more ways than one but i want you to watch this video and leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments okay make sure you check it out i'm gonna go back i'm actually gonna pin the video after you watch the video please let me know your thoughts okay 
have the people of the East Palestine community been forgotten? I want to know your thoughts. Thank you for your support.